Hi, everybody. It's Andrew Masters. It's really great to see you all again. Hi, Tommy. Hello, Andrew. Hello, everybody. Uh, how are you doing, Tommy? Oh, I think I'm OK. You think you're OK? Well, Tommy, we're going to sing God yeah. Love the World so much. Will you help me sing that? Yeah, that, that will cheer me up. Yeah. OK, then. God loved the world so much. So much. That he gave his only son. His son. So that everyone who believes in him to have eternal life. Have life. Shall we say a prayer, Tommy? I think we can say a prayer. Yeah, I feel better now, but we can say a prayer. Help us, God, today to listen, to learn, to remember, and to understand. Amen. Amen. Well, Tommy, you know you said you were fed up. You felt a bit sad. Yeah, I keep getting things wrong. Mm. Well, there's a story in the Bible. And I would like you to be the person in that story he was fed up. And then you might learn from it. Oh, okay. And who, the story, who is that? I'll tell you where it is, shall I? It's in yeah. the Good News Bible. Oh, yeah. Page mm -hmm. 140 in the New 100, Testament. 140. And in the, in the Children's Bible, the Children's Bible, it's on page yeah. 360. 360. And it's called Breakfast by the Sea. Mm. So there, there's a the page numbers. If you want yeah. to go and read the story later, Tommy, you can always read the story. Because yeah. it's really great to go and read the story because you can check it out. Well, Tommy, in this story, I'd like you to be a person called Peter. Oh, I've heard of Peter. Was yeah. he one of Jesus's friends? He was one of Jesus' friends, and he felt really fed up mm. because he had let his best friend down. Oh yeah, I remember that bit of the story. Yeah, people said, "Do you know Jesus?" When Jesus was being arrested, and Peter said, "No, no, I've not heard of Jesus." And they said, do you really not know who Jesus is? He said, no, 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 I don't know Jesus. And they said, you do know Jesus. And he said, no, never heard of him. And then he realised that he'd let his friend down. He got it wrong. <sighs> but he was scared, wasn't he? He was very scared. He didn't want to be beaten up. No. So it's sort of... Not surprising, but he felt sad because he he felt a bit confused, actually, because mm. he'd heard and actually he'd even seen Jesus had come back to life again. He died on the cross and he'd come back to life. And he was thinking, how, how can I be Jesus' friend now? I've let him down. Yeah. And he felt fed up and he said... To his friends. I'm fed up. I'm going to do something I like to do. I'm going to go fishing. See if and that his friend said, we'll come with you. Okay. So off they went. They got in the boat. And they went out to sea. And Peter so, was a professional fisherman. I know what I'm doing. How to catch fish. Yeah. So they threw the net out. <laughs> they pulled it in. Pull, pull, pull. And there was nothing. No fish. Said, oh, no. Come on. Let's try again. So they <laughs> threw the net out. And they pulled it in. And all there was was a broken sandal. Smelly. 
and there was no fish. No fish, nothing. Mm -mm. Peter said, I can't even be a fisherman. No, I can't even get that right. Mm. And his friend said, don't worry. We'll have another go. So they oh. threw them out. <gasps> and there was nothing. And his friend said, look, there's a man on the shore over there. And he called out, have you caught anything? No, nothing. And the man said, throw your net on the other side. So they went, Psh! and there were so many fish. <gasps> and his friend said, that's got to be Jesus. And Peter jumped out of the boat because they were nearly in shore. And he went waiting to see Jesus. And his friends pulled the fish in, and there were so many. There was 153. Oh, that's a lot of fish. And they sat around the fire that Jesus had made, and they ate the fish. And Peter oh. was thinking, oh, oh dear, it's Jesus. Oh, last time I saw him, the I let him down. come out. He wanted to say sorry. <coughs> and then Jesus said, Peter. Yeah. Are you really my friend? Oh, yeah, yes, Jesus, you know I am your friend. And then Jesus said, Peter, I want you to look after my followers and then Peter was just thinking about it and Jesus said Peter yeah are you really really my friend oh you know Jesus I really really am your friend and Jesus said I want you to look after my followers. Yeah. Hmm. And then Jesus said, Peter, mm -hmm. are you really, really, really my friend? Oh, oh. Jesus, even though I let you down, uh, you know everything about me, Jesus. I really, really, really am your friend. And his friend was listening to the whole conversation. They were there listening and they thought, wow. And they went, wow. Because Peter had got his job back. He was now going to look after all of Jesus' followers. So even though I got things wrong, Jesus still trusts me to look after his friends and all yeah. of his followers. He's given me another chance. Yeah, he could start again. Yeah. And Christians believe Jesus wants to give us all that chance to start again. And... We can all start again. Sometimes it's hard, but we know we can start again. And we need to give each other that chance to start again. Well, Tommy, I think you did really well. Thank you. And you know what? I feel I feel better now. You do? I do. Yeah, That's because really great. I can start well, again. Tommy, I'm going now. Oh, bye. Bye, Phil. He's called Phil. So, we're going to finish, Tommy, with God loved the world so much. Even when it got things wrong. Yep. 
Even then, Peter got things wrong. Yeah. So here we go then. Are you ready? It's yeah. so much. His son have life. God loved the world so much. So much. That he gave his only son. His son. So that everyone who believes in him shall have eternal life. Have life. Well done, Tommy. I'm really grateful for your help today. And remember, we can start again. So bye, Tommy. Yes. Thanks for helping me. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.